All aboard! You'd better hurry, historians. This train is about to head to Manchester without you. Industrialism began with advancements in agriculture and textile manufacturing in Great Britain and spread around the world and to virtually every industry. Keep the following guiding questions in mind during today's lesson. What technological developments increased the efficiency of transportation and communication? What impact did transportation and communication technology have on the economy? And what were the social impacts of the transportation and communication revolutions? And for the big picture, let's situate these advancements within the Industrial Revolution as a whole. How did more efficient means of transportation and communication continue to fuel further innovation? Early steam engines were developed before the Industrial Revolution. These were the first engines to produce mechanical work using the power of steam. They were very inefficient. At least until 1765, when James Watt devised a steam engine that worked faster and burned less coal. Eventually, his engine was used to power steamboats. But perhaps the most impactful new vehicle debuted in 1804, Richard Trevithick's steam-powered locomotive. It was a 20-ton behemoth and pulled 10 tons of iron for 10 miles at the breakneck speed of 2.4 miles per hour. It doesn't sound so amazing, but it would have taken between 30 and 40 horses to move a load the speed that the locomotive could. By the late 1820s, George Stevenson's steam engine rocket could reach 24 miles an hour. Railroad tracks, more durable roads, and extensive canal systems were constructed across Europe and the United States. As a result, products, people, and raw materials were transported more efficiently. Let's check in with a guiding question. What technological developments increased the efficiency of transportation? Efficient canals, roads, and railroads allowed people to transport themselves and their things over land and water. The steam engine allowed them to travel greater distances with more weight at a faster speed. Transportation wasn't the only way the world became more accessible. In the mid-1830s, Samuel Morse developed the telegraph, which used electricity to send a tone along a wire. A language was developed using a series of long and short audible tones that became known as Morse code. Morse could send a message to a recipient 40 miles away in an instant, a task that would have taken the better part of a day to physically deliver the message on horseback. Later telegraph designers tried to send multiple tones on different channels at the same time. This acoustic telegraphy was the precursor to sending a human voice. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell made the world's first telephone call. By 1886, over 150,000 Americans owned telephones. Returning to our guiding questions, what technological developments increased the efficiency of communication? Electromagnetism was used to send audible tones along telegraph wires at incredible speeds. Later, the human voice was sent by wire using the telephone. Railways in particular had a tremendous impact on the British economy. Firstly, railways affected prices. Locomotives gave businesses cheaper and faster access to materials needed for manufacturing. Lower costs meant they could lower prices while still making a profit. And lower prices meant that even people without great means could access more items, from necessities like food and clothes to leisure products like books or bicycles. This raised the standard of living for people across all socioeconomic groups. Another impact of railways was higher employment. The construction of trains and railroads accounted for thousands of jobs, and making materials to operate trains produced thousands more. Trains also allowed people to travel for work. While they needed to live within a mile or two of their work site previously, a nearby train station enabled someone to work and live in different towns. Thirdly, railways affected the distribution of people in England. 
Businesses set up factories near train stations so workers and materials could come together in one centralized location. New towns sprouted up along railroads where new stations were built and many people migrated from rural areas. A fourth impact was the speed and the huge carrying capacity of new means of transportation. Trains allowed farmers and fishermen to transport their products a much greater distance before they spoiled. This greatly expanded their markets, incentivizing them to grow more food. People's conceptualization of time and space completely changed. In the past, someone might have considered time in the context of how much time had passed since sunrise or how much time was left until sunset. But since the trains had to run on time and products had to be loaded and unloaded on a schedule, time became measured much more precisely. Employers and business owners obsessed over how to squeeze more profits out of every minute of the day. The conceptualization of distance also fundamentally shifted. A distant city was perceived in terms of how many hours it might take a train to reach it. It's almost as if the train created economic growth that accelerated as quickly as, well, a speeding train. Telegraphs and telephones also sped up commerce, allowing businesses to receive an order on the same day that it was sent, fill that order, and send the product to the customer much more quickly. Trains supported this efficiency by getting the product to a post office near the customer. Let's get back to your guiding questions. What impacts did transportation and communication technologies have on the economy? These increases in efficiency spurred growth in businesses as they were able to reach more customers at greater distances, and they changed consumer behavior by increasing their access to purchase products from distant producers. Transportation and communication greatly influenced social behavior as well. Quick transportation allowed more travel that was less disruptive to people's time. But watch out! Safety considerations were still being ironed out. Derailments were somewhat common. Injuries were devastating, including both physical and psychological trauma. In many ways, the train represented the rapid shift in society. While factory workers were all too familiar with loud, noisy machines, the hallmarks of industry, most people working on farms or in banks didn't really interact with industrial machinery. But anyone transporting themselves or their things rode the train. People of all classes sat together, often avoiding eye contact and polite conversation as they shared a space with people they had little practice interacting with. The train also represented the democratization of travel. Because traveling was so much less expensive and time-consuming, anyone who could afford a ticket was much more willing to travel further from home, gaining access to all sorts of new activities. While the telegraph made communication easier, the telephone had a more profound impact on the ability of people to stay in touch with family and socialize with each other. This affected people's willingness to move away from their hometowns, since they knew that they would be able to maintain a connection with their loved ones. Here's your last guiding question. What were the social impacts of the transportation and communication revolutions? Maybe you said that new technology allowed people to gather together in person or in conversation, or that it opened new doors for socialization by bringing people of different classes together on the train, or that it brought people to places of leisure activities. While it's easy to consider the train or telegraph as simple tools that have one effect, faster and cheaper travel and communication, stark changes in people's lifestyle, their connection to others, and what products they could consume had an effect on every area of life. As we continue our study of the Industrial Revolution, we'll take a more in-depth look at the process and effects of industrialization, and since it's fun, we'll take some time to explore those leisure activities people gained access to as well. And now that we can get there by train or by phone call, history really is everywhere. Hey!